Hello and welcome back to The Backup Bridge, the news source that fills in when the bridge does not fulfill. My name is Anya Studebaker, and I would just like to thank everyone for being so understanding as I took some time off last week. But here at The Backup Bridge, we are not ones to harp on the past, so let's focus on today, which happens to be National School Picture Day. So here's a reminder for everyone to put on their best smile. And now that we're all in a positive mood, let's get into the news. As we get into the heart of hurricane season, we Floridians must prepare for the worst. Even if a hurricane isn't coming, inclement weather plagues the state. Today on the Backup Bridge, we're gonna teach you how you can deal with the weather. Rule number one is don't panic. Now I know your first thought is gonna be to go out and get non-perishables and water, but we have to be considerate of other people. We don't want another toilet paper incident. And if you're worried about the hurricane directly hitting us, you don't have to, because it never has, and it never will. Now here are some quick tips on how to deal with the rain. Always keep a raincoat or umbrella on you because Florida weather can be unpredictable. If you get scared of the thunder, you can always snuggle up with your pet. If your pet gets scared of the thunder, they can snuggle up next to you. Now, if you need to drive while it's raining, don't. You can't. I mean, you people get in car accidents in the parking lot when the weather conditions are perfect. So what makes you think you can do it in the rain? You don't want anyone to get hurt. Just stop it. Don't. Thank you for watching this instructional video on how to deal with the rain. Next week, we'll take on the topic of how to deal with the heat. Here's a little secret. You can. Welcome back to everyone's favorite segment. You know what really grinds my gears? Starring Sarasota High's very own Mr. Hughes and his co-anchor, Skelly. Thanks, Anya. You know what really grinds my gears? This concept of when your birthday goes more than a day. Like, birthday week? Birthday two weeks? Birthday month? Are you kidding me? You get one day. We all get one day. That is literally the day of our birth. So take it, you get the one day, don't be greedy. And let's be clear, no one really cares about that day either, right? I'm sorry, I'm just, sorry Skelly, that was, that was, that was not acceptable. It's been a frustrating day. When I heard this today from a student, it got me really angry, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Enjoy your one day of birth, I'm very happy for you. Happy birthday to all those people I didn't get to say happy birthday to and in the future for your one day, happy birthday. And that's what really grinds my gears. <laughs> Mr. Hughes, that was a great take. Nice and on point compared to last week's. See me after class. We have to talk about your contract. Hello and welcome back to Speedy Statistics. Did you know that chalk is edible, a dragonfly has a lifespan of only one day, it's impossible to tickle yourself, flamingos can only eat with their heads upside down, and a rubber band lasts longer when refrigerated? <sighs> Thanks. Those were some speedy statistics. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of The Backup Bridge. We'll probably see you again next week because at this point, who knows when the bridge is going to start producing episodes. As always, I'm Anya Studebaker, surely one of the most photogenic people out there. Now make sure to tune in next week when we find out Anya's big secret. Have a good weekend and remember, please do not hit me with your car as I try to exit the parking lot. But that, come on, that's funny, right? Sure. Okay, let's focus. Oh, there's a little worm! Oh, that's not a worm. Wow. Nature not is amazing. Either. Isn't that fantastic and wonderful? Well, somebody didn't see the last one.
That sucks. They need to know the lore. This is a religion, if you don't know. And I'm the god. It's called comedy. Look it up.